well good afternoon how's it going everybody hope you're all well uh, I'm feeling uh, fit as a fiddle apart from um, after that last hike with uh, Simon I managed to develop what's called plantar fasciitis or something anyway foot's killing me so not a massive hike or walk or anything today but as you can see I'm in the van um, and it's October it's Halloween it's spooky time so I'm testing myself again. I'm out on my own. Um, friend Paul was was going to come, but he couldn't make it. Mate Sam was going to come, couldn't make it. Uh, guys, other other guys know at work are busy. So I'm on my own. I'm on my lonesome. Um, and I'm in. Uh, I've been a few times now. Harwood Forest. If you if you look up some of my other videos, I'll I'll flash up now. Um, so doing another little wild camp, a little bit of a recce. It, 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 it's one of them places where uh, it kind of draws me, especially this time of year. So I was going to keep in a van, but there's a few signs saying no parking. So I think I might go back to an area where I either went on the bike or with the guys on the bike and have a little bit of a uh, bit of a recce around there and brave it in the tent. So I've got my snug pack. Got a nice bit of food to cook up, a little bit of lamb, uh, tikka masala, and uh, let's just see what happens this evening. And if I do uh, scare myself stupid, then I've got the van to run back to, haven't I? Right, guys, so I'll catch up with you in a bit, and uh, we'll crack on and get unpacked and, and get going. See you in a bit. spot and uh, it's pretty good so it's a different spot never been in this spot before in Harwood completely different and I think I'm gonna quite chill and I can see the the van not far away and I didn't want to hike too far so I'm, uh, I'm gonna get set up set the tent up and uh, get settled in I kind of found my spot, this seems pretty good. I think pretty cool. Let's find somewhere where to, I think it's solid, where to hang your rucksack. Uh, it looks like there's evidence of, evidence of uh, people camping. Well, uh, just checked out, there's no widow makers or anything. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, someone has camped over there, so it's not a bad spot. Right, let's get the tent up. There's one thing with this hardwood forest is you always get a feel like you're being uh, just being watched a bit. It's always like I don't, I don't know. It's in my imagination again. I'm gonna have to stop this because imagination just just runs wild. It really does. Right, let's just get pitched up because <laughs> it's gonna be dark soon, and then uh, 
and all the scaries come out, don't they? Right, so uh, tents all set up, uh, usual stuff on the inside, Thermarest, uh, to Summit pillow, got my Van Gogh three season, it's probably going to be about 6 degrees tonight, and uh, I think I'll do a bit of cooking on this bit here, I have got a portable barbecue, and there's a bit of a gas in my canister, but not that much, and as always, bin bag to put the rubbish in to take home a couple of little bits and pieces knocking about so people have used it but yeah uh, very atmospheric in here you could say got about an hour's worth of daylight left and uh, but again I don't know what it is the feeling of being what the hell was that did you hear that then folks no, that wasn't me. Let's hear the twig break. And again. Oh. Here we go again, freaking myself out, bloody wow men and woodsmen and bloody werewolves and all the rest of it. Ooh. So, well it is Halloween. Why the hell are you coming on your own, I don't know. So I've just got some bits and pieces. So what we're having tonight, um, some lamb, I've got some tikka marinade, oh, left in the van, I have to get that. And. Uh, so, good old Sapporo. So, yeah, got some plenty of water as well. We've got brewing some hot chocolate and things like that. So, that's what we're having. Uh, got my stove, but I've also got in the out of the bag my portable fire uh, fire stove. Just heard something again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What the hell was that? Shit. There is someone here, I know it. Hello? Hello? Here we go again. God, my heart is beating again. Hello? Shit, there is someone there. Hello? Why have you been watching me? Hey, mate. What, what, what are you doing? Mate, I've got a knife here, mate. Shit. There's someone there. Oh my god. Right, sorry, but this isn't fun. Listen, we all do wild camping. You're probably doing it yourself, trying to freak me out. So just, uh, you know. I am armed. I'll just let you know. I did say to someone uh, on YouTube that I was coming out here tonight, so. It's freaking me out. Right, uh, 
just carry on as normal and then let's get some food going and then uh, but yeah someone's obviously going to make an appearance tonight and uh, and say oh by the way yeah uh, I'm not liking this at the minute Right, someone's obviously know I'm here tonight and playing silly buggers. What the hell is that? Jesus, that freaky. So I've got my fire going. I'd say it's on the like, portable barbecue. So, it's probably why it's a bit smoky. I was going to carry on with the, uh, the horror aspect, but I thought... It's getting a bit hard to film, wasn't it? It was a bit me. spooky, that master, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? We were going to do the whole hog and uh, do like opening the tent and all the rest of it, but what did we decide? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. So we decided to have a beer and uh, sit around the fire. And to be honest, this place is pretty atmospheric enough on its own. So, but I hope you enjoyed that little bit. A little bit of fun. But uh, yeah, I'm a right scaredy cat, me, if I was on my own. I, I don't think, I, I've said it before, I could not be on my own in this forest. Um, again, ever. So that's not going to happen. Right. Gotta have a beer. Just coming back out. It's a bit breezy, but... Well, a wonderful evening. Look at the sunset there. This is what it's all about, folks. So on a serious note then, Paul. Obviously, I've told you about this place quite a few times, haven't I? Yeah. You mentioned about the Bigfoot thing and Wild Man and all the rest of it. Um, it is pretty big, this forest. Yeah, what yeah. do you think there could be in here? A lot of trees, I think. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of trees. I don't know, I guess, uh, at the moment it doesn't feel uh, spooky. No. Maybe a bit later when it gets a bit darker. Yeah. I think there's, yeah, there's a lot of noise, isn't there? It's just, it's just the trees. Just moving. trees, like movement up, up in the top and everything. Yeah. Like, you can see them. You see them there. Strange noises. Bit of movement. Yeah. Well, that's us kind of townies getting used to the. I'm used to them all, like the. The sounds of the country. But if you hear like an owl, yeah, yeah. especially a barn owl screeching or um, or uh, a fox, yeah. a vixen, a proper, proper see sounds happens, of the night. Um, see what happens later. Hmm. Mm. Well, I think you're going to change. <laughs> <laughs> to the real wolf man. <laughs> Maybe it could be me, mate. Maybe. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know. I do think, though, that there probably could be like a, a wildcat or something like that. Think? Yeah, I think so. I think so. That that could be entirely possible. Because it was, wasn't it, 70s? People used to have them as pets, didn't they? So we're just going to enjoy the fire. Why is it when you always point to a fire, always smoke seems to get on the lens? Enjoy the fight, chill out, and uh, just enjoy the experience. Or not, as the case may be. Mm. So, campfire TV tonight. So it's so dark in here, isn't it? That wind's picked up a bit, hasn't it? What? That cracking. Just. Can you see me down there? The wind has picked up a bit. And you see there above my head. It always does a really good shot that when you. Yeah. Yeah. Really 
your trees fall to that and down in the van? <laughs> well, if it falls on you, you won't be going anywhere, will you? You'll be fine, mate. You'll be right. <laughs> Thank huh? his last words. Yeah, I'll be right. Okay, yeah, see. so we're just enjoying the, uh, the low light. But there's trouble to say, I've said it before, winter camping. Um, it's only 20 past six. Waiting for these uh, log embers to go down. Then we're going to start cooking the food. Because I, I must admit, I'm getting pretty hungry now. So here we are, ready, steady, cook. So what have we got then, Paul? Fiddles, red onion, lamb, mint sauce, some broccoli, and pepper. pepper, packet of biscuits. Oh yeah, packet of biscuits. What can you make out of that, chef? Give me two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what would Ainsy Harriet say? Ready, say, cook. Get rubbing your meat. <laughs> <laughs> So, now that the embers are nicely going down, and uh, but it's still it's only about seven o'clock, isn't it? I know, and it feels like later, doesn't it? It does. So we got. Griddle, I'm going to griddle the pepper. Going to griddle the pepper. Broccoli, you know, going to griddle, griddle them as well. Yep. Not just bang them on. I'm going to get these potatoes cooking. Yep. Yeah. And you can cut this onion as well. Okay. Well, then so we got this. Char, uh, char the onion. Say. Tikka masala and then two lovely uh, lamb steaks, and just to add to the flavouring, then you've got some mint sauce. Um, so, what we're on at the minute, so the Sapporo has been supped. We're on the 1664, and then uh, we've got a couple of hobgoblins. And uh, Asahi, lovely jubbly. I'll get a pan on the water. It's safe. So, potatoes are on, we're just going to blanch them off, and then uh, a few minutes, get them fairly cooked, and then everything's then going to go on the uh, on this griddle. Is it pretty hot? I think we need to stoke it a bit. A bit of stoking. Chef special seasoning going on. Mm. Fair bit of rock salt and stuff on that, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> yes, it's a novel, this, that someone else is doing the bloody cooking. So, boy, well, what you didn't know, Paul is also a chef. He kept going when I uh, give up, didn't you, mate? It is. Kept stuck to it. Chef, man, and boy. Where well, was me? Give up in uh, 1998, wasn't it? Yeah, went to sail. Yep. Mm hmm. Is that that Oppenel that I give you? Yeah, yeah. Is it the same knife? Yeah, yeah. Really? I'll tell you what, it's a sharp knife. Do you know what? What? Got to be careful. In the middle of nowhere, sharp knife. I know, I've done it. <laughs> Let me cut in I've got my peppers ready. I'm just going to char them with my onion. Brilliant. The the, uh, are getting cooking there. It's getting nice and tender. I think they'll probably be, uh, be alright now to go on. We just check, check them. Oh yeah, definitely. Should we blanch that broccoli then? Well. Uh, I'm just thinking we blanch it and then yeah. push it off. Yeah, we'll do a bit of that. Welcome to Harwood Forest Cooking. What it's all about, folks. You can't see me now, can you? Mm. Spook it out, red light in it. It was a bit Maybe. spooky, that. Mm. Well, I've stopped pissing about now. <laughs> so the potatoes and uh, broccoli just been a bit blanched. And then we've got the lamb steaks on. 
got the peppers, got onions. It's going to be nice. So you've got your carbs with the potatoes. We were going to make a curry, but decided to sod it, really. Just have it as it is. I'll save the curry for another time. That fat will uh, get the fine game, won't it? It should do, yeah. I can't believe you've done your Sapporo and your uh, Cronenberg in it. I'm not, I've just done my Sapporo. I know. Got hollow legs. You're a lightweight, though, aren't you? Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> this is on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving. Yeah, tomorrow? Yeah. Lightweight. Cheeky. I can't do this. I couldn't do this on my own. Could you not? No. How come? Too scary. You reckon? Yeah. I it's must. The sounds, isn't it? No. Yeah, there's not been really much sounds tonight. It's been very quiet. Uh, right. I mean, um, I'm okay now, but I'm not on my own, am I? Yeah, but if you was on your own and. No, I don't think so. We look round. We look round now, pan down, and you can see what the forest is like. It's uh, you just can't see anything, can you? you, you Doom and gloom, isn't it? Some shapes there, isn't there? And you can think what's that shape and. Well, what's next to you there is my night vision goggles. Oh, yeah. So, when we've had oh, our yeah. food... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a look. Loose, maybe later. We'll have a look. Yeah. We'll have a look at them. But, yeah, it, it, it's... Uh, at the end of the day, the way I look at it, we're not in America, are we, or Canada, or anywhere like that, or even some parts of Europe where they've got bears and... No, no. Wild stuff, whereas in the UK, you don't get anything like that. Only the possibilities of some big Long black bit of dogging. wild cat. So that's what we got so far. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? Just grilling everything, parboil the uh, broccoli and stuff, but yeah, I'm getting hungry now. Time is ticking away. Food's cooked now. Just gonna enjoy this. You can see it there. Got the fire going back again. But yeah. What's it like, Paul? Lovely. Is it nice? Yeah. Pretty good? Very really good, yeah. Top chef, top man. Brilliant. So, oh, getting a bit chilly now. So we put a fire log on. And uh, it's getting a bit tricky to film now. Uh, so, eventful night, or non eventful night, I should say. I do say so myself. It's actually quite scary, that mask. <laughs> Imagine something like that coming at you in the middle of the night. Right, folks, um, it's getting a bit hard to film now in the dark. So, uh, I'm going to see you in the morning, well, I'll have a quick chat in the tent, and then uh, I'll see you in the morning. All tucked up in my tent now. Uh, it's, uh, the temperature has dropped um, quite dramatically, in fact, the battery on my camera is flashing as we speak. So, I'm going to bid you good night, and good sleep. Paul's retired, uh, not from work, obviously retired to bed, uh, and uh, we've had a good night, we've had a few beers, we've had a few laughs, we've had a good chat, we've had a, um, a good time, but the temperature has dropped, and uh, I can't find my warm socks, which is a bit of a bummer, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you in the morning, and uh, hopefully the werewolves or the bud bugs or the beast, beast man don't bite in the night. So, I bid you farewell. Right, see you in the morning. Bye bye.
Well morning, we survived the night. Uh, Paul's just disappeared doing, I don't know, whatever. Might be doing these ablutions. So uh, we're all packed up. Um, and you see, you can see there, left no trace. Yeah, we had a really good time, uh, good night. Had a few beers, few laughs, sat around the fire. It did get cold last night though, so it got to about about six degrees I reckon but uh, yeah really good time so um, oh we enjoyed like a kind of a little bit of Halloween -y special yeah I'm never gonna be the next um, John Carpenter, Stanley Kubrick or um, Stephen King but I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of fun that I had before so thanks for watching big thumbs up don't forget hit the bell icon for any future notifications and uh, like share subscribe and remember, if you're out while camping um, on Halloween, um, <laughs> just, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Leave no trace. <laughs>